Lord, I come to need you more and more each day. I'm learning to just let you lead the way. I'm into you with all my faith. That's why I'm giving you my heart, my mind, my soul. Oh, Lord, my heart, my mind, my soul. Oh, Lord, you give it all up for love when everybody else was holding back. But most of all, you gave me joy. Even when I stood on shaky ground, oh, feeling that religion never lets me down. No greater love have I found. I trust you from the bottom. I better stop. Of my heart, my mind, and my soul. Oh, Lord, my mind, and my mind, my soul. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever side of the diaspora that you are on, I'd like to welcome you to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija, as you can see, this information that is, I guess, taking over the internet for the last couple of days with, about Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears is just really, really diabolical. First of all, the fact that they have claims that they allegedly groomed, molested, um, yeah and videotape these children are just, um, it's just, it's beyond disgusting. And I hear a lot of people saying, I believe it's fake. And I believe, first of all, you saw them on the camera doing what they did. So ain't nothing fake about it. Okay. There's no sense in making excuses about, you know, and this is what makes me mad sometimes with us. We want to make excuses for every damn thing, even stuff we see in our face. Uh, so there is no question of whether the video was made or not. Hell, unless you're crazy and you're blind, you see it. It's going, it's over the internet. So they might have taken it down now and scrubbed it, but it's there. Okay? All of it in its undesirable, freaky, pedophilish overtone. And my biggest question is why? Why would, how could you not have enough sense to know that this was going to come back to bite you in the ass? What part of earth are you living on where this seems funny? It was such a horrible joke that I, you know, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm saying about people doing anything for a bag trying to do anything to get on. Do I believe that Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears are molesters? No, I don't. But that doesn't mean anything. Because what I believe is what I can prove. Okay? So I don't believe that they are molesters. However, this right here was the Molestation Act. So you can get that label just by this virtue of this madness that you had no business even being a part of. So the story goes, uh, Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears are ba are firing back at accusations that they groomed and molested a 14-year-old girl and a 7-year-old brother years ago. The two siblings referred to as Jane and John Doe in a bombshell new lawsuit claim that they will never be the same after crossing paths with the comedic duo. 
Haddish, 42, was allegedly friends with their mother. And according to the elder sister Jane Doe, allegedly that Haddish persuades, persuaded the teen to film sexually suggestive videos, posing, supposedly teaching her to, to mimic given fellatio for the skin. And I know I shouldn't have said a few words because it's going to definitely uh, flag the video. So, um, well, and it's definitely not going to be monetized. However, this is very important. You know, YouTube is just demonetizing all my videos. So, you know, it makes it de very difficult to stay um, giving information, uh, asking opinion, and just keeping the channel afloat because... Um, you know, to just do to, to sit here and, and watch them run ramshot over your channel is kind of disheartening. But the girl, the elder sister, claims that Spears 47 and Haddish did the M word uh, to her and her seven year old brother while filming a funny day or die. I mean, filming a funny or die video entitled Through a Blank's Eyes. Uh, Funny or Die found the video absolutely disgusting and would never produce such content. We were not involved in the conceptualization, the development, the funding, or the production of this crazy video. It was uploaded to the site as a user generator content and was removed in 2018 immediately after becoming aware of its existence, the company uh, said. In the siblings' lawsuit, um, the sisters, the sister said that the ordeal impacted her love life because she is fearful to be led down the wrong path of false trust, just like uh, Haddish led her down. The brother, on the other hand, said he is terrified of being filmed without his without his consent. Now, both claim that they suffer from social disorder. They are seeking damages from Haddish and Spears after their mother apparently tried to reach a $15,000 settlement with Spears. This afternoon, Haddish's attorney, Andrew Brettler, made every effort to cast doubt on their explosive claims, slamming the lawsuit as an over-the-top extortion attempt. How? How? You should have settled this. But I guess as long as the video is out there, you can, it's, you know, you always have the chance of it surfacing. I just want to know what would make y'all think, anybody think that that was okay to do. Unless you wanted it to get into the right hands of the right people. Uh, somebody suggested that you do something crazy like that. So that would be your golden ticket for the, all the, the, the files out there. That like to produce material like this, maybe that was your uh, gateway pass. I don't know. Oh, I just know that y'all are messed up. Y'all are messed up. Uh, whether you have good lawyers or not, you are always going to be associated with this because that film does not lie. It said that, anyway. The the mother' name is Triza Morris. And she's been trying to assert these claims against Haddish for several years. Every attorney who initially taken on her case, and there were several, ultimately dropped her matter once it became clear that the, the claims were meritless and Haddish would not be shaken down. Now, Miss Morris has her adult daughter representing her in the, loose, uh, in the lawsuit, and the two of them will together face the consequences of uh, pursuing frivolous action. <laughs> okay. Well, they've also reached out to the representatives of Spears, and um, they, you know, there's just no comment other than they're not going to be shaken down. All I'm saying about this, y'all, is this is not good. It don't look good. It don't smell good. It's just disgusting. And as a, I don't know if any of them are parents. I, I know Tiffany's not. Um, but I, I don't know, understand on what planet is this cool? What would make you think it was okay to do something so diabolical? 
I don't know. I, I, y'all share your opinion with me. What do you think? So, and please don't come here talking about she innocent and he innocent when you see the damn footage right there. Innocent of what? What are they innocent of? They did what they did. The question should be why they did it. That's the question. Why? And what would make them think that that was funny? Okay, do you agree with me or not? Uh, leave your comments below. And um, I'm going to see you in the next video.